Good morning, my friends. I am doing this video before work, so that's why I say good morning. Got to go get ready for work in a few minutes, but <laughs> here I am. So thanks for joining me. I'm Sherry. This is my channel, Turquoise Dreaming, and I'm so glad you're here. Today I'm going to do a little episode, probably be pretty quick, uh, of hashtag use it or lose it. So uh, for these videos, I either usually take something from my stash that I haven't used in a while and I will do something with it or I will take a piece of something uh, usually some type of paper or ephemera or some little bit <laughs> that is headed for the trash but I couldn't throw it away so today it's a bank envelope uh, as you can see here and it's really cute actually on its own but I couldn't just leave it be like this, so I thought I would uh, make it better. So I think what I'm going to do is oh, try to open it up carefully without ripping it. Let me see if I can start doing that here. And we're going to make this, or at least that's my plan, <laughs> make this better than it is already. So this doesn't take too many uh, ingredients here. Or supplies uh, so this could be a mobile or TV craft also um, so I'm gonna just like I said try to carefully peel this open can it be done <laughs> I don't want to, it feels like, you know, I stop because it, and go to the other side because it feels like it's starting to get a little thin, like it's going to rip. Uh, let me see, I've got my scissors, but I wonder. Just so you can see that it can be done, hopefully. Getting really thin. It must have a lot of glue right here in the center. Uh, let me see. Let me see if I can start again. Like, not from the where I'm already pulling, but from the where it's glued here. Yeah, it's happening. <laughs> okay, okay, almost. There we go. Okay, not too bad. Not too shabby. Okay, so we opened a little bit of extra here. Let's peel that off. As far as <laughs> I peel off a layer of paper from the other side. So I want it to be, I want to glue down on here. So I don't want any lumps or bumps getting in my way. <clears throat> and we're going to glue it back together. But I thought I would just cover it. And since I'm working with Halloween or making you know Halloween journals right now. I thought I would just make this kind of Halloweeny. Well, let me just glue that piece back down. I, I'm going to cover this with tissue paper. That way it won't be too thick. Let's see which one is. I think these are both new, <clears throat> new glue sticks, new or newish. So uh, this piece right here is sticking up. Let's, let's see if we can glue that back down. Okay, are we good to go? So we're going to cover this, and this is I'm just using this cardboard for to protect my surface here, and I got this tissue paper right here in Happy Mail from Mardell. Isn't it pretty? It has all kinds of Halloween words on it, and here's a pumpkin and an owl, a cat, so witch hat, bats, really cute. So it will fit over the whole thing. So I'm just going to, uh, I have used glue stick. This is Craft Bond Elmer's Extra Strength Permanent Bond glue. And I have used this before to glue down napkins, you know, the one layer of napkin when we take them apart or, or tissue paper. And it does really well. It holds it. It just does really well. So. You know, I didn't want to use a heavy glue and, or, you know, a real liquidy glue. So, this is really good and works really well. 
I just try to get it all over like every every little bit of envelope here and so we're going to work kind of quick so this doesn't dry before I even get the envelope down I mean the paper down the tissue paper and then this envelope will be saved from the trash and it will be used in one of my Halloween journals. <laughs> I have some other bits like that sitting here. Uh, not very many, just a few, but like like this. Like, I don't want to throw it away. Or, uh, or I found it. I found this. I'll show you before the video is over. If I remember, I'll try to remember. That I found at the bookstore I go to. It was just, where was it? It was either on the floor <laughs> or it was sitting on a shelf or something like I don't know what this is but apparently it's meant for me <laughs> type of thing it wasn't something they sell it was just a random I'll show you in a second okay so let's get this cover see how quick this is uh, press it down I don't want to waste any of this paper so I'm just going to put it right at the top here not pick out any certain spot if you get wrinkles I don't think it even matters just adds to the charm so but it, I do want to get it all like glued down, you know, every single piece of it. I don't want any bubbles or anything. Wrinkles, okay. Bubbles, not okay. <laughs> so, and it is thin. You will be able, you can see through it, but I thought that would just add to like the spookiness of it. Like you can see a person through there. Makes it kind of spooky, doesn't it? Okay, so then I think I got it all. Let me make sure the wrinkles are. You can almost smooth out the wrinkles actually if you take some time with it and kind of I'm not using a bone folder or anything I'm just using my fingers because uh, I don't want to you know I've what happened once before is I ripped you know it was just a little probably just a little tiny rip or something but I was using a bone folder or something like that and it ripped my paper you know what I mean? My my fingers. Wow, well, I'm getting my fingers dirty. <laughs> I'm rubbing off some of the ink. I'm rubbing so hard. But um, no, it ripped my paper. So now I'm kind of like paranoid. So I kind of just use my fingers a lot, or my hands instead of a bone folder or a little a credit card. You know how we do. Okay, I think I've got it pretty good um, glued down. Let me try. I try to save these scissors for fabric because they're really sharp. And these I try to use on paper. Unless they don't cut the paper, then I'll use those. <laughs> so let's see. Now we just have to cut it out. So that should be easy and pretty quick as we're just cutting around the envelope as our guide. So let's see how we do with this. I'm just going to try to cut right next to the envelope without cutting the envelope but not leaving any extra tissue paper if possible. I guess you could rip it. Some people like to rip around their things, you know, with like when they have napkin or tissue paper, just kind of rip it. Uh -uh, but I'm going to cut it. I think that would be just as good for this particular little thing I'm trying to do here. So, and I'm going to test the edges when I'm done and make sure everything is glued down on the edges and then we're going to put this envelope back together okay let's get this piece off of here yeah I've still got a good chunk left there since I just used the top so I was looking through um, my Halloween goodies I was looking through either actually I was looking for a napkin and I found this uh, this tissue paper that Mardell had sent me so I said, oh, well, that is perfect. <laughs> Hello, come, come, let's, let's use you. So, I hope everyone's going to have a good Friday and a good weekend. Uh, I don't have too much planned this weekend, but there is another, two weekends in a row, that usually doesn't happen around here, but... There's a, an estate sale in the neighborhood. Not in the neighborhood, but, you know, in my town. It's like a neighborhood, pretty much, <laughs> comparatively, because it's a small town. You know what I mean? If you live in a small town, you know what I mean? Like, I've lived in big towns and small towns. <laughs> like, I lived in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I would say that's a big town. 
and now I live where I live now, so <laughs> it's definitely a lot, 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 lot smaller. <laughs> so, okay, here it is unglued together. Let's see if we got all the edges down. I'm just going to go around and see, like, here's what I felt this one when I was cutting, so that's why I said, let me go ahead and test the edges. In fact, there's a little piece of paper here. I wouldn't mind getting off of here. I couldn't cut it very well because it was loose there. Okay, now test. Uh, this is kind of going over the edge, but let me just put a little, whoop, that's not the right one. I'm going to put a little glue right here. Okay, so I got my coffee here. Anyway, yeah, I'll probably go to that estate sale. Uh, it's not too far from my house, and last week I went to one. I don't know if you saw the video on, I think I said on the video on Monday that I went to an estate sale last weekend, but it, you know, it wasn't that it wasn't good. They had a lot of stuff, but, you know, it wasn't anything I wanted or could use. Like, I don't need any tchotchkes, as people might say, or things like I just declutter my house so I'm not going to clutter it up again <laughs> so uh, they didn't have anything I could use for junk journals or like nothing no paper they had some books I don't that I didn't you know I wouldn't you know there wasn't any, any books that I would want or need or use for okay I think we're good to go we're, we are uh, glued down you can see what it looks like now you can see through it a little bit which is fine I think that adds to the spookiness so yeah, I might, I'll probably, if I, um, you know, feel like it, I'll drop by that. Uh, and it's kind of convenient right now during the summer, uh, because I get off early on Fridays during the summer. So I'll go, <clears throat> instead of going on Saturday, instead of having to get up and go out on Saturday first thing, I can go on my way home from work on Friday. <laughs> so that is convenient. <clears throat> So it's going to look like that if I were if we're all folded up in a journal or somewhere. But let's glue this. Now that I'm at this point, let's, well, my other glue, my art glitter glue is in the other room because I was using it last night during TV time. So I'm just going to grab my, my um, Fabri-Tac here and glue this side down first and then glue that little flap. That's how it was originally. The flap was not on the inside. No. I just wanted to show you how it looked if I were to glue it on the inside. And of course, this was on the inside. Oh, you know what? Oh, we got the whole thing. Okay. This way, this way we got the whole thing. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, I didn't really even have to. Does this show? Yeah, it does show a little bit over here. Okay. So, yeah, that, that was just, I thought that would be the easiest way. So I'm just going to put one little bead of glue here. I felt I want I got a string there. I don't want this part to be glued together, so I'm just making sure there's no string of glue there. String of glue from the Fabri-Tac. Okay, so there's one part, and now this part. It's gonna be so cute. All right, so much better than it was, right? Oh my goodness, so adorable, <laughs> so cute. Okay, and so the other thing I found at the bookstore was this card. Uh, it's from a library. It must have been in a book. Libra library State University of New York, Binghamton. I might have showed you this in a Thrifty Thursday. But yeah, I found it at that bookstore. And I, when I was picking this up, I found that I, this is in here too. Because I found it's kind of like really random. Like where, you know, I so I didn't put it away because, like, where am I going to put it? You know what I mean? So, I mean, I have a drawer of ephemera and stuff, but it's just one thing. It's not like, you know, a bunch of things. So, a little bit of glue needs to dry right there. Uh, make sure everything was glued down here. But I thought, well, I, when I was picking this envelope up, I was like, oh, this fits right in there. So, I could put this in a journal and have this be the inside and the flap would just stay open. Uh, now that it's so cute, though, I can't glue it down, can I? I would have to hinge it in or something or just clip it in. But this I want to decorate in some way. And then this it'll be writing space on the back. 
or you could write on the front too, but I thought I would cover it with, I don't want to cover cover it because I think it's so cool, but I just want to put a little decoration on here. I don't have anything right here right now except, well, I do have, I do have, <laughs> I do have a couple things, uh, but I thought, you know, uh, I've got all this orange rickrack and green rickrack. Put some rickrack on here. So this could go on here, something like that. Anyway, I think we'll do that during a diff different video because I don't want to. I had something in mind and I don't have the things here right now, but I wanted to show you this cool card. So anyway, this is what we finished today. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day.